What's up guys, All Snurcho here, and we just got done seeing the Deadpool movie. So this is our review, so as usual, we'll start with non-spoilers at the beginning, then talk a few spoilers at the end. This probably won't be very long, because I don't know how to like talk about Deadpool, really, the movie and stuff. But we'll go ahead and do non-spoilers. And so first thing is, off, is the movie good? Um, it's kind of weird. It is good if you like the last one. To me, I think I, I think I did like this one a little bit more. Um, I can't really tell, but I like the characters a lot more, and that's what would probably make me like this one over the um, first one, because I didn't, you know, hardly know any of the characters besides, like, Colossus and stuff, and of course Deadpool, but this one has a lot, had a more, you know, characters that you know or I've heard of and stuff, um, so that's why I would probably like this one a little bit more, and I kind of like the story more, because it's not just all about Deadpool, you know, trying to get revenge on what happened to him, but it is kind of a revenge story type thing. So I would say it is better than the first one, but it's not not like the best movie in the world um just like the first one either they're not the best but it is a good you know for a superhero movie it's a good rated r movie it's got a lot of comedy in it and they do a lot of weird strange stuff that you'd never see in you know like the other marvel movies like avengers and stuff and that's what i like about this of course which is what deadpool is that's what his comics are about and everything that's they do the right thing by deadpool making them how they do in these movies so by that it's it's really good but it's just it's not a movie i'm gonna watch a lot i'll probably see it one more time and then you know maybe years on down the line but it's not something I'm gonna see over and over again or something like I consider good movies to be that I like you know I watch them a bunch of times so by that it's not really that good of a movie but it's not horrible by any means so what was your opinion bro um probably the same thing so I know you said you were conflicted you didn't know how to feel about it but I mean that's the thing like I said it's a good movie but it's not a great movie um, so some of the other things um, I don't really do, I don't know if I'll consider suppose we won't say the characters but some of the CGI in the movie is not the best or to me most of the CGI is not the best like looking stuff there is but I remember from Deadpool 1 that it wasn't the best and so it kind of just fits along with that so I just ignore it like people like Colossus and stuff they just don't look good and of course a lot of the Deadpool stuff when he's getting messed up and everything doesn't look the best and it's just not the best like compute uh, characters they don't look the best I don't know about you know like other stuff like explosions and all that um, that just looks like normal stuff but the actual characters to me they don't look that good as CGI um, so a lot of the other characters, of course, if you've seen the trailers, we got introduced into the X-Force, which that has a twist we'll go into in spoilers. Um, we don't really know a whole lot about, but ones we did learn more about it, where it was Domino. I really enjoy Domino just, you know, being a girl who's, I guess, superpower is luck. And she just always gets lucky with everything that happens to her, the best case scenario turns out for her. And I like that, and I like the character. Um, then, of course, we had Colossus back again, being his normal self with his Russian accent and everything. Um, then of course Deadpool, which I don't know why I didn't start with him, but he's the exact same Ryan Reynolds, you know, Deadpool character as the first one, so it's, you know, nothing different at all has changed. Um, let's see, who else could we talk about? Um, we have, oh, Cable, duh, how to kind of miss that. Cable, of course, Josh Brolin, which was really good, and have, but the whole problem is every time I heard him talk, all I pictured with Thanos, because we've seen Avengers twice now, and so just the voice of Thanos and everything is like stuck in my head. And just every time I hear Josh Brolin now, I just hear Thanos. And so that's one thing I don't like about that. But of course, I liked him. He wasn't like for like cables as you see, figures and um, pictures and from the comic book stuff. He's this big, huge guy with a bunch of muscles. But Josh Brolin's just, you know, a guy, an average size guy. And he's, you know, ripped out and everything. But he's not overly huge. So that's one thing I would have liked better is to have just some big, huge guy or something to look a lot better. Um, but he wasn't didn't have a whole lot of character thing just besides he's you know a guy here hunting somebody which is the kid which you see all this in the trailer um and so he's hunting the kid that we his name ended up being what fire fist or something, something like that, like that yeah. and yeah i've never heard of him before don't know anything about him if he's even a real character which i assume he is if they're putting it in the movie but he's you know i don't understand like so the kid did something in the past because uh, or in the future because Cable's from the future and so he's coming to the best to, kind of, to try and stop the kid at a younger age and so that's the whole point of the story thing and so it's just you know trying to stop the kid from doing that is what this whole story is about um, but I don't know what else to mention um, 
because there's not really a whole lot like besides that stuff. Um, like I said, the comedy is really good. Um, some some of the stuff that I think would be the funnier moments are what you saw in the trailer. So when it's you know played on screen, it's not really that funny anymore because we've already um, heard it and everything. Um, but a lot of like um, the visual gags, of course, of like Deadpool being injured and almost killed and being killed, I guess you could say, in like weird twists and everything that go on. Um, he's they make it very comedic and everything. But like I said, they kind of ruin a, a lot of the stuff in the trailer. But the stuff they left out is really funny, and there's, of course, some gross parts and um, stuff I wish they wouldn't have put in the movie, but they did it anyways because, you know, they're going outlandish for Deadpool. Was there anything else non spoilers you wanted to add? No. Okay. Um, so now we're getting into spoilers, so if you don't want to hear anything about the movie because you haven't seen it yet, you just want an opinion, we're going to go into spoilers now, so don't watch or just ruin the movie for yourself, whatever. So we're getting into that now. So the big spoiler, I guess you could say, from the whole movie, because it's not like the storyline's all that big and important or anything, but the X-Force thing is just, when I saw it, I just, like, inside, I was just dying laughing, because as start, stuff started to happen, I'm like, I bet they're going to do this, and then they did it. So, of course, Deadpool is trying to get back at Cable, because they've he's um, faced off with Cable, I think, twice by that point, maybe? I could be wrong, I don't remember. Um, but... They were in the jail and all sorts of stuff and trying to protect the kid. And they did it, I believe, beforehand, too, at one point. But, um, so Deadpool's, you know, trying to to fight Cable. And so he assembles a team called the X-Force. Well, he tries to join the X-Men, which I thought that was a fun part, too. He was, you know, in the X-Men mansion. And he's walking around and goes, you know, continue on with the stuff from the last movie. Where it's like, you know, they only afford these characters or whatever. And then it turns to Deadpool's back. And there's a room full of all the X-Men characters we've seen in the most recent X-Men movies. And stuff just standing. It's like standing there having a conversation. And Beast comes over and shuts the door. And Deadpool turns around. And there's no one there whatever and so i like that and then he was wearing the x-men in trainee shirt and everything and he was trying to join the x-men but he ended up shooting a bunch of people and so he got kicked out by Colossus. so he formed his own group called the x-force because he wanted to be a ginger neutral group and not men um and so that's when they got like i said uh so it's deadpool then they had domino um they brought in a bunch of other characters um so there was bedlam which was terry cruz's character then we had um shatterstar um, was it I don't Vanisher remember. or something like yeah, that? Yeah, Vanisher. Which was an invisible guy and um, the vomiting guy. I don't remember what his <clears throat> name Toxicity, was. Toxicity, maybe? No, it oh. was... It started with a Z. Yeah, I guess I don't remember. But it was Bill Skarsgård, I think is his name, and he supposedly um, throws up vomit or whatever, like acidic vomit or whatever. And... Was there anybody else? Oh, and then Pete, the guy, of course, they see in the trailer, the actual just normal human guy that they threw in. I think that's it for all the characters. Um, and so, of course, they go into their first mission, The you know, to, they take the kid because um, he was jailed with Deadpool, and, of course, Deadpool escapes, and Cable comes and all that stuff, and they gets out. Um, and so they're trying to land on a truck because a truck is moving the kid and a bunch of other prisoners to another a prison or, or prison, I guess, yeah, jail, whatever you want to call it. And so they're trying to intercept the truck and everything. So they jump out of plane and as they're coming to the ground, Deadpool gets stuck on a sign and he's just hanging there. So all the other uh, X-Force characters are coming down. And of course, uh, Bedlam gets ends up getting hit by a tr uh, bus and dying from that. Um... Uh, who's the other? Uh, Vanisher, is whatever, runs into power lines, and of course you just see a back uh, um, backpack with a parachute floating down. And as soon as he hits the power lines, you can see he turns into an actual person, and it's what Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. Uh, yeah, like I thought, I don't know. Like to me, I was like, oh, that guy looks familiar, but I had no clue until Brad said, yeah, it was Brad Pitt. So I thought that was funny that they threw him in there in the movie just for a second, and then you never see him again. And then the guy that spits the vomit, um, he ends up flying into a, a, tr a tree grinder. I forget what they call it. A tree yeah, shredder. Yeah, just a grinder. Yeah, shredder that put trees into and it puts it, turns them in the mulch and stuff. He falls in that. So Peter runs over and tries to help him and is, you know, like uh, being like, I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to save you. And so he's pulling him on stuff. And the guy ends up, which is, you know, throws up vomit and stuff, ends up vomiting and it goes all over Peter's arm and Peter loses his arm and... Um, I'm pretty sure that ends up killing Peter and everything. Um, but pretty much that's, like, all there is for the movie. Like, then the rest of the movie is uh, Deadpool and Cable, you know, trying to fight to protect this kid. Um, and then they end up crashing the whole truck thing or whatever. And the kid was making friends with the biggest guy in the jail, as Deadpool taught him or whatever and stuff. And 
you end up finding, because he was also being transported at this time, and he set up a deal, or the kid set up a deal, you know, I'll free you and everything. And so the crush truck ends up crashing due to the um, Deadpool and cable fighting and stuff. And you end up... Uh, Actually, <laughs> it was the the big prisoner that caused the truck to oh, crash. Oh, yeah, because the kid was trying to get to him stuff, and the guy ended up causing it. Well, then the truck crashes and everything, and then... Um, the doors opened or whatever and you to reveal that it's Juggernaut. And so I was super excited to see Juggernaut because he's obviously one of the cool X-Men villains. And I just like that they did and brought him back because he was... And to me, overall, character-wise, he looked a lot better. But he was another CGI character just like Colossus. And so he looked terrible the whole time, like actual graphics. Especially was. when they got Colossus and yeah, Juggernaut. Yeah, when, when Colossus and Juggernaut fought each other and everything, they looked... It just, you know, it's a whole just CGI mess on the One screen. One thing I want to touch on real quick is when they were in the, what was it, the icebox? Yeah, what ice they called box, it? something like that. When they were in the icebox prison, one prisoner came up and tried to start a tussle with the Deadpool, we'll say, and his name was Black Tom Cassidy. Yeah. And he's actually a member of the Hellfire Club and a former partner of Juggernauts, so. Uh -huh. so. So there's, of course, some... That's the whole thing with superhero movies. You get all these characters just hidden in the background that if you don't know deep into, like, superhero history and stuff, you don't know that stuff. So. Um, so, yeah, we got Juggernaut, and like I said, I like that. And then when, you know, he joined up with the kid to go and do what their whole mission thing was that Cable was trying to stop and everything, he mentioned, you know, he's like... Um, I wear this dome because so my brother can't read my thoughts and he's like oh well he's in a wheelchair and stuff so it hints that he is the brother of Xavier uh, Charles Xavier which is known about if you read comics or know that sort of stuff but they've never hinted at that or mentioned it like back in X3 when he was in it was never brought up or mentioned or anything that he's you know uh, Xavier's brother or anything so I did like that they throw that in there and they're you know kind of throwing in and sticking with this stuff that's from the comics where they just kind of try to ignore it in the old movies and stuff so I like that they did that um so then in the end we find out or Deadpool ends up dying but of course with Cable you know changing his heart and everything he ends up uh going back in time and uh ends up saving Deadpool and so Deadpool doesn't end up dying in the end, and so he decides, you know, to sacrifice um, going back to his wife and daughter, which the kid ended up killing in the future, so that's why he came back or whatever. Um, so he's like, they'll be fine, and so I'm going to stay here with my friends or family, whatever he said and stuff. And so that's putting Cable now into the Deadpool universe, you know, for any more movies they want to do. And <clears throat> so I just like the whole idea of, you know, Deadpool dying, but then him going back in time and doing something to end up saving him and stuff. I really like the whole time travel bit and everything. Um, is there anything else from the movies you wanted to mention? Uh, just some little Easter eggs that I noticed. Some related to comics and some just not. Uh, the name of the house that the kid was being oh, yeah. held in was Essex House. Yeah, which, which deals we saw with Essex Mr. in the last X or X Men movie too yeah. brought up. Which is Nathaniel Essex, which is... Uh, Mr. Sinister. Yeah, Mr. Sinister. Yeah, so it could be a connection there with that, working on mutants and stuff like that. And then you had the two hillbilly characters in there, which one of them was Matt Damon, and then oh, yeah. uh, one of them was Alan... Uh, what's his last name? Tudyk, maybe? Yeah, like yeah, guy. from Firefly. Yeah, Firefly and stuff. Yeah, they were, again, Matt Damon under character or in a Marvel movie and stuff, whatever, being in there. And so, yeah, they hid them in as when Cable first came to Earth, he ran across those two. Um, so that's just a fun little Easter egg thing they put in there for that, yeah. Um, then the last thing, there were in credit scenes. Apparently there are five. We only saw one of them, but um, we looked up the others just to see if there were any more because um, we didn't think there would be. But, yeah, there are five. Um, I don't remember them all, but the one we saw was Negasonic and her uh, girlfriend or whatever ended up fixing the time trial or time... Uh, whatever thing time slider yeah yeah that cable has and they end up fixing it and give it to deadpool and they're like in the course he takes it and then they have like we're gonna regret this or something so they fix that so now deadpool can have the ability to time travel which then he does in some other scenes so he goes back and saves his girlfriend or wife whatever because she ends up dying early in the movie that causes him to rage out and this whole stuff and so he ends up going back to save her and then we had 
Deadpool also going back in time to save uh, Peter from the X-Force, so he goes back in time, but instead of saving all the other X-Force characters, he just sees Peter, and because Peter ends up laying on the ground all fine and everything, and before he goes to save the guy in the tree shredder, he tells him to run away and just forget about this whole mission and everything, and so Peter goes running off, so saves him. Then he goes back in time to um, X or X-Men Origins Wolverine or whatever, and when it comes up to Deadpool, and you first see Deadpool once he turns into um, the Weapon 11 or whatever, so when his mouth is shut and everything, um, and Wolverine makes a comment about, oh, so um, they finally found a way to shut you up or something, He uh, Deadpool comes in and kills that version of himself, and he says, just fixing the timeline or something, which was funny. And then he goes back in time to, or goes, whatever, time travels, to Ryan Reynolds looking at the script for uh, Green Lantern and ends up shooting Ryan Reynolds in the back of the head and saving him or whatever. So those are just um, some of the end credit scenes that they had that were funny and stuff, and I like that they added all that in there though of the time travel so it'll be interesting to see what they do in the future movies because I assume they'll carry on with like X-Force movies since they formed the group up there at the end and you know Cable State and everything so it'll be fun to see what they do in the next movie and stuff but I think that's going to be it do you have anything else bro? No. So, so that's it for our Deadpool review. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoyed the movie. If you did, let me know in the comments down below whether you did or not. I don't care. Just let me know what your opinion was. You could have absolutely hated it. Could have loved it more than I did. Just let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos, and we'll see you next time.